Hey friends, Daniel here with the Lead Pages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. For this tech tip, I wanted to talk about the HTML widget that we offer within our drag and drop builder. In my example, I'm going to demonstrate adding an embedded map into a lead page. However, you can use the HTML widget to add all sorts of different content that we may not offer a widget for currently. As you see here, I do have a lead page pulled up to work on today, wanting to add a map so that people know where to find our practice. I have added a visit us section to the bottom of my page where I'd like to add the map. So let's head down to this now. To start, let's grab the HTML widget from the widgets menu and drag that onto the page where we want our map to appear. To do so, I'm going to click on the widgets menu on the left-hand side of our screen and scroll down to find the HTML widget. Now, if you're seeing a screen like mine, make sure to click show more so that you can scroll down and find that HTML widget. Next, click and hold and drag that HTML widget onto the page, dropping it where you'd like your content to appear. Once we've added the HTML widget, onto our page, let's head over to Google Maps to grab that embeddable map code. In Google Maps, I'm going to go ahead and enter in our address. And from here, I'm going to use the share option and embed a map to get embeddable code. I'm going to copy this now so that we can head back into our lead page and add that into the HTML widget. To add the code that we've copied to our HTML widget, let's click on the HTML widget and paste it into the pop-up that appears, clicking Save once we've added the code. Now, as we add the embeddable map code to the HTML widget on our page, I did want to note that the customization and styling of the map that appears will come from the code being added. If you'd like to make adjustments to the content you're adding, you would be adjusting the code you add within the HTML widget. It's also important to keep in mind that all code added to an HTML widget is taken as is, and it is not validated by our builder. Now that we've added that embeddable map code into the HTML widget, let's take a look at what that looks like in the wild using the preview option so we can look at different devices. In the preview option, we have the ability to look at desktop, tablet, and mobile. So let's scroll down to our map as that's what we're focused on here today. Here's what this will look like on desktop, on tablet, and on a mobile device. Now I did want to talk about if you see any trouble arise after adding in third-party code and show a quick example of this. I've intentionally broken my maps code, so let's take a look at what happens now when we preview our page. Let's start out with mobile as this is where we left off, heading down to where our map was that we added. You'll notice that we're just seeing a blank white space here now no matter what device we view on. If you notice any trouble with your page after adding in third-party code, we do recommend removing it while evaluating where the issue lies. Along with this, consulting with the code provider's documentation or support options. I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me here for our HTML widget tech tip. Now, if you do have any questions, definitely connect with our support team as we're here to help. Within the Lead Pages Builder, you'll notice a question mark where you have direct access to our support modal. Definitely let us know if you have any questions.